Hi guys, it's Bridget with Zebra Glitter and Nails, Positively Zebra, the Daily Stripe, and today we are going to uh, apply a tip. I already have nine of mine on, I have one to go, and I'm gonna show you the process that I use. I use full coverage tips because with work, I'm constantly opening boxes or mixing body care stuff, and uh, either wear gloves over them so they don't come off at all, or I just don't do nails because of all the work I do. So anyways, when I do wear them, it's typically full coverage tips. And I have fallen in love in the past few days with these. And I'm trying to see if I can somehow provide them for a cheap price in our store. These look completely natural. If you can see them in the videos. And I don't have any coloring over them right now. But these are from BT Art Box, and they're the... They're their new like gel tip and they're matte buffed um, tip. So that's what they, they come on this and then you size it and take off the size that you want. It will have a little plastic tab on the end that you can see. So you do have to file that, which that's the only thing I don't like about them, but a lot of tips have those. So, um, but anyways, you would just, um, Where's my file? <laughs> you would just uh, file that off. Okay. And then um, what I usually do, and this helps a lot, is take my nail, nail drill and turn it on just on a low setting. And you're gonna basically heat up the underside of that tip. So right here, you're just wanting to kind of heat it up. So you are gonna take off just a little bit of it, but not much. Basically, you just wanna get it hot, which the carbide bits don't get very hot very fast. So you just kind of, so you get the idea. You're gonna heat that up. And I'll be, uh, Honestly, the sanding bands probably heat the best. And then what I do, what I see that, that works best for me, and I'm gonna pull out my lint-free wipe here, and I don't have my glasses on again because of the glare on the video, but uh, we're gonna apply a decent amount to glue of glue on the tip, and then we're gonna, I usually put bond on first, so that's already on there. We're gonna apply the nail glue on here. Now you don't wanna to wait too long. You can use a lot of different things, but I love the Marcart glue, which I do sell on our website. Um, I don't have a zebra branded one yet because I've fallen in love with this and I don't know that I wanna change. <laughs> our gel base, or our, not gel, our dip base works great too for application of tips if you, uh, if you like that that method some people swear that that doesn't work but your dip glue and your super glues uh your nail glues they're all kind of in the same family so they're gonna be a little different don't use super glue on your nails guys there are some differences but it is a similar consistency and makeup of it okay so there you go and i got a little glue around the edges so you would just go in and clean that off or it'll wear off but um, just hold that down. And these tips, um, it's like they were made for me. I haven't had to shape any of them. They have a size that fits every finger of mine. So that's your basic tip application for full coverage tips. Now, like I said, there are different ways of doing it. There are people that use builder gel, which is great. You just want to do a gel base and then your builder gel and then your tip and cure, you know, that whole setup. And we'll have videos of all that. And then I have shown... Um, like dipping over tips, stuff like that. So anyways, that's a quick, easy video today that just shows you how to apply tips. And my videos, I am just doing one finger normally. That way the videos aren't crazy long. But at some point I will do some full videos. That way if you want to sit down and do your nails with me, we'll have instruction videos where I do something and then you have the time to do it as well. So anyways, thank you and stay tuned for more Positively Zebra, The Daily Stripe.